What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. In this video, <laughs> gotta talk to you about a group chat I'm in. And I'm pretty sure, I think it is Mr. Tuttle, who is the one who's messaging about me and to me. And he's expressed to me how there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. And how... I need to just sit to the sidelines and mind my own business and let them that know what they're doing handle this lawsuit. Now, I might add, that comes from somebody who's got the same track record as Al from Boston over there in the court, which is zero for all of the motions that they filed. Okay? So, he's telling me I need to sit back. But today, we had a really rough day yesterday, but today... He puts a whole bunch of laugh in his asses all faces and then posts my video and he makes fun of the fact that I said adding 6.9 million somewhere around there extra shares to the new float is dilution and how stupid could I be? And I looked at my phone and I said, now here this motherfucker goes again. Now I left him alone yesterday. I said, I'm through talking to a dumbass. And I left it alone. And here he is back again. So I said, okay, I'll entertain this fool. I said, how is it not delusion? Well, he's giving it to us. And I said, I don't give a fuck who he gives it to. If you add shares to an outstanding float, that's delusion. Oh, but he's giving it. I said, I don't give a fuck who he adds it to. It's delusion. Because it lowers your earnings per share of all of the shares in the float. Now, the earnings per share is this. And then you add 6.9 or somewhere near that to the earnings per share, and it's now this. And what happens to the price of the stock when that happens? Do I have to tell you? So, is it dilution? Absolutely. And is it bad for AMC stockholders? Absolutely. I got an extra share for one for every something that I have I got, but the fucking price went down because of that, because the earnings per shares had to be spread out now, the stock price goes down. Well, it's, it's not delusion. Well, I said, you're a goddamn lie. Let me run over here and let me talk to ChatGPT and let me confirm because ChatGPT is going to be right. It has passed the law exam, the medical exam, and any other exam you want to give it. It don't forget. It knows everything. Okay? So I went over there and I asked it, please explain delusion to me. And he said, dilution refers to the decrease in the ownership percentage or value of existing shareholders in a company due to issuance of additional shares. When a company issues new shares, either through a secondary offering, employee stock option, or convertible securities, it is it increases the total number of shares outstanding as a result of stock dilution to ownership stake of existing shareholders gets reduced because the new shares are typically offered to new investors. However, and this is Mr. Tuttle's argument, we're the ones getting the shares. It doesn't matter. It just says typically this is the case that other people get the shares. Now, when I put in the fact of what's going on with AMC and, and the seven, one for every seven and a half, Watch what Chad GTP said. I said, my company is in the middle of a lawsuit and is suggesting giving shareholders a total of 6.9 million new shares. I say because it lowers our earnings per share, that would be considered dilution. Would I be right? And Chad GPT said, in the situation you describe where a company is considering issuing 6.9 million new shares due to a lawsuit, it is likely that such an issuance would be considered stock dilution. The reason is that the total number of shares outstanding would increase significantly, which can impact the earnings per share and potentially dilute the ownership stake of existing 
shareholders. It can potentially dilute the ownership stake of existing shareholders, but it will lower the earnings per share. Simple as that, people. Simple as that. As it goes on, it says, when a company issues a substantial number of new shares, 6.9 million, the earnings of the company will be spread across a larger number of shares, which can result in lower earnings per shares. And what happens when they have a lower earnings per share? I don't have to tell you. It's dilution, people. I don't give a fuck how you want to look at it. He can kiss their asses if he wants. But check this out. Here's another thing that he said. Look at this, where he said, they're afraid of the conversion. So we don't want the conversion. We want the reverse stock split. And I said, now how stupid can this fucking person be? And the answer is not. There's no way you could possibly believe that the, the shorts won't a, don't want a reverse stock split, but they're afraid of the conversion. Give me a break. So, people, be careful who you're listening to and question that what you hear, even from me. Now, he didn't even question. He just stated I was wrong. And now his ego won't let him admit I'm right. So he'd rather stay wrong and continue to tell other people wrong than to admit it because of his ego that he was wrong. And with that, I love you. Be blessed. See you in the next video.